Morning. Paddy! Glad to be out there. Oh, my dad's in a foul mood. Why? It's all right. I haven't told him. Yet. Nothing happened between me and your mum. Why'd you give me 20 quid last night, then? See you when I spent it. Is it hot lunch? Yeah. Yeah, sure? Come on, then. We're gonna be late. Quick. Come on. What about breakfast? What about it? You should have asked Emma's permission before you brought Jerry around. She would have said no. And doesn't that tell you anything? Emma wanted Jerry adopted. That was a damn hard decision for her to make. But I think she needs to be reminded of it. She's taken the easy way out. How can you say that? I'm not blaming her. She's only 14, but she's effectively washed her hands of the whole problem. You agreed with her decision. No, Will. I went along with it for Emma's sake, but it was wrong. Emma might not want to be Jerry's mother, but there's no reason why your mum and I shouldn't be part of her life. Every time you bring Jerry into the house, you're rubbing Emma's nose in it. But it might help Emma to see Jerry in a different light. <laughs> or you might be putting her through complete torture. Oh, I'm sorry, Doug, but that spare key of Cathy's is for emergencies only. I mean, if you've got a present or anything for her, you could always leave it with me. Unless I get access to Cathy's house, there is no present. Oh, you might as well be talking double Dutch, love. I mean... <laughs> You tell me what it is. Because I want it to be a huge surprise for Cathy, so it must remain a secret. Are you inferring that I'm a blabbermouth? Of course not, Betty. I promise you Cathy will be overjoyed when she sees what I've done for her. She'll thank you for lending me the key. Are you sure? Definitely. Oh, go on. Butch, you can shift yourself and do the washing up. Huh? And you can shape up and go and forage for scrap. I'd love to. But the clutch is gone again on that stupid van. Excuses. No worries, Dad. I can get you a new clutch for now. Where from? Same place as I can get you a new back wheeler now. Oh, you've not been thieving again? No. It's just this place I know about. Meanwhile, you can tend to these. Gas, electricity. You can pay them when you're in the village. You must have someone left from the Ken's job. Think again, Einstein. The last lot went on grubbing unpaid bills. I want you and Butch to put some money in the family pot. Yeah, well, uh, my dog don't come till next week, so... Uh... Then you'd better get a job. Eh? Come on, Sam. <laughs> oh, good morning, Paddy. Hey. Oh, don't worry, Paddy. I'll advertise for someone. You are? A new assistant. We've had so much paperwork since. Well, you know, Linda. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm off up to uh, home farm in a minute. Have a look at that new fall tower. I reckon it's not feeding properly. Do you want a lift? No, nope, I've got the day off. Steve's playing surrogate daddy. Yeah, to get himself into Kim's good books. You can't fault him for effort. Actually, I think Steve would make a very good dad. Oh, talking about would-be parents, when are you two going to see about that artificial insomnia or you know what? <laughs> Later this morning. I am very nervous. <laughs> They're not doing it today, are they? No, I'm just going to go in for some tests and a chat first. Could I save you the bother? <laughs> All you had to do was... <gasps> You're an evil man! <laughs> What's the problem, Betty? <laughs> no, no, I just thought I'd pop by, see if there was anything you needed. No, nope, I'm all right. <laughs> what, uh, what are you doing in there? Well, like I said, Betty, it's it's top secret. Ready by five. You'll see it then. Take a seat. Thank you. Nervous? Hugely. It's only natural. This is a big decision you're making. Oh, tell me about it. No, you tell me. Are you absolutely sure about wanting to be parents? Yes. It's OK. I'm not here to make judgments. Quite frankly, if you can pay for the treatment, 
You can have it. But I do want to throw a few thoughts at you about what you're taking on. Well, we've talked it all through, haven't we, Sophie? Well, pretty much. And how do you think you'll cope being parents? Well, I have a successful veterinary practice. We're comfortably off. I meant emotionally. We want a baby. Our child will have as much love as it needs, more even. And have you thought about the impact it might have on your relationship? We want to go ahead. Fine. So, what would you like? Boy? Girl? Can you be that specific? Unfortunately, science hasn't mastered that yet. Although, I do know a few old wives' tricks. How cute. Not. So cliché to be a baby hater. Then call me a cliché. Go and stand the ankle biters. I always think there's something very odd about people who love animals but hate children. <laughs> if you can tear yourself away from playing daddies, I'd like you to read a letter from the insurers about the money for the Oakwell stud. I want to get him off to sleep. <sighs> See you back at home, farm. <laughs> Steve, we've had vandals. Someone's gone and Shh. chucked off. Oh, chairs and benches in Aldi Village swimming pub. Well, you better hold them out then, aren't you? Oh, come on, mate. There's only me, and that garden furniture's heavy, you know. Morning, Steve. Roy, I'll get straight to the point. Have you got any labouring jobs? No, if we need to start, we advertise. I could use a name right now. I've been run off my feet since Biss left. All right, which of the Dingle clan are you trying to foist on me? Butch. Butch? <laughs> I mean, no offence, Lisa, but I don't think Zoe and Sophie would be too happy about him working up there. He's got a girlfriend now in Australia. He's right smitten. He'll keep out of the way. I don't know. Well, I know he's not exactly mastermind material, but he's a real grafter. You should see the way he cares for his pigs when he's mucking them out. We don't keep pigs. My point is this, that when Butch puts his mind to something, he's right assiduous. Look, I suppose I could show him ropes. All right, I'll give him a fortnight's trial. If he shapes up, I'll keep him on, all right? Thanks, Steve. Uh, Butch will be thrilled. <laughs> uh... Before either of you get carried away, let me introduce a note of caution. We have a 23% success rate. That's less than a one in four chance. Mm. And that's the reality of it. Don't get your hopes too high. You might fall lucky first time, but most people don't. A lot of women never do. However long it takes, I'd like to keep trying. If it's not worked within six months, we'll reassess the situation. I'd still like to continue. It can be very stressful. I want a baby. So, let's get down to business. What we're looking for is the window of opportunity. The perfect moment for you to get pregnant. And what then? We start the treatment. Is that it? Well, we'll need to make another appointment for some blood tests. But now we can give you a full medical and an examination. Lovely. Thanks. Bye. Uh, don't forget to order your Christmas puds early. Are you all right there, Paddy? Uh, Viv, not in. No, she's picking up some stock in Hotton. Uh, uh, you're all right? Yeah, fine. Why wouldn't I be? No, I, I just saw Kelly earlier and she said you might be in a bit of a temper. Oh, I don't know what she's on about. Viv's in a world of her own, that girl. <laughs> no, mate. You'd know about it if I got my temper up. Why's that? Oh, I completely lose it. Is that right? Yeah. Not responsible for my actions. <laughs> Have you finished clearing out the cellar? Aye. Had to throw away a lot of wine, though. What? There were loads of bottles out of date. One of them said 1985 on it. <laughs> How could you be such an idiot? <laughs> Only joking. I'm not that daft. You're not paid to tell jokes. What was all that about? She liked me at the wedding. Now she's on my case all the time. What have I done wrong, Mr. P? I don't know, Sam. Oops. You all right? I'm fine. And so will you be, five o'clock tonight. What are you talking about? You'll see. <laughs> What are you having done at the house? Nothing. Why? Only there's a procession of workmen going in and out of the front door. What? Whoops. Brace yourselves. I've got a book. 
got your job at home, farm. You've done what? He's on trial for a fortnight, so you better impress. Working with Roy? Huh? Hold on, Lisa. Me and my lad here are free spirits. See? I don't want him stuck in some nine to five. Too late. He starts work tomorrow morning. I'll miss telly two piece. Tough. It's time you started living in the real world. Well, you've overstepped the mark, Lisa, and I won't stand for it. When you can pay the bills, you can call the shops. What is going on? Ta da! I want them out of here now. It's a mess now, but just wait till we're finished. This place will look like a palace. How did you get in here? I borrowed the spare key off Betty. Can I have it back now? Betty had no right to let you have this. I'm going to have words with her right now. I wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, it's that all right? How dare you break into my home? Would you go now, please? I'm sorry about this, Les. Look, I'll settle up with you later, all right? I wanted to please you. We go out for a meal, you order for me. I want to buy some clothes, you try and choose them for me. But this, this dog is totally unbelievable. I thought you'd be overjoyed. This is getting really creepy and I don't like it. Won't be able to manage a drink tonight, Ned. Looking after Robert and Victoria. Oh, great news, pal. Yeah, she's off out for a drink. It's about time you saw them. You haven't seen them kids for days. Look, you just keep your nose out of it. Oh, I don't you like the truth. Don't preach to me about looking after kids. We had to take yours in because you were in prison. Oi, oi! Come on, you two, leave it out. You're not perfect. Always banging on about your wonderful kids. Then when you and Sarah split up, they don't see hiding ahead of you. Because Sarah banned me from seeing them. Ah, huh. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, there's a lot you don't know. So stop trying it on. And what's that supposed to mean? You're dead sympathetic with Sarah, aren't you? What? Are you jealous? Just stay away from her. Well, that's going to be a bit difficult, isn't it? What with me working on the farm and that? Oh, it's not a problem anymore. You're sacked. You can't do that. I just have. This is still my farm and I can hire and fire who I want. The spare key is for emergencies only. I'm sorry, Cathy. I didn't think you'd mind. <gasps> well, I obviously do. Uh, it's all my fault. Uh, I shouldn't have put you on the spot like that. No, you flaming well shouldn't. I trusted you. Look, the fact remains, you shouldn't have given Doug the key. Now, Betty, there's some tables that need serving. Would you mind? I'm sorry, Cathy. I didn't mean to upset you. Aren't we overreacting just a smidge? It was an invasion of my privacy. But this is ridiculous. I was only trying to make up for the holiday. Doug, it's my house. I'll decide how it's decorated. I know plenty of people who would have been thrilled at such a surprise. Fine. Then go and decorate their houses. Well, maybe we should go home and crack open the champagne. <sighs> Let's save that for when I get pregnant. <laughs> how do you feel? A bit frightened. A lot excited. I didn't enjoy that medical much. Oh. Zoe, you told a bit of a fib in there. Sorry? Well, you said we'd talked it all through together. We haven't. We both want the baby. What more is there to say? We haven't talked about what we want to do after the birth. I mean, what about your job? What about mine? I'm not even pregnant yet. Let's cross those bridges when we get to them. Oi! I want a word with you. What's up? Thought you got away with it, didn't you, eh? Look, this has all been a terrible misunderstanding. Don't give me that. I got proof. Vic, I am begging you, please listen to my side of the story. Don't give yourself a heart attack, Penny. It's only 50p. What? You paid for your milk with a Irish 50 pence. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Uh, Right. I was only having a joke, mate. Have you seen it so tense? Cheers. Here. You want to get Viv to give you a massage? 
Very good with her hands, Viv. You know what I mean? Uh... Right. Just up to the post office to get some bread. Have you seen my woman anywhere? No. No idea. We've been looking for her for ages. Well, if you can't tidy up after yourself, what do you expect? Back in a minute. What are we doing for Christmas Day? No offence, Al, but uh, I don't fancy the idea of two old bachelors scoffing a ready turkey meal wearing paper hats and pretending to be jolly. You can't be so depressing. No, no I, I was thinking of inviting some people round for Christmas dinner, you know, after we closed. Am I invited? Well, I assumed you'd be spending it with your family. We can all come. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Al. <laughs> what, you and Viv? Oh, I wouldn't have put money on that, Paddy. I've never touched her, I don't think. Yeah, but it don't look good, though, does it? You keeping overnight and only living next door? Oh, I was blathered. I can't tell you how I felt when I woke up mm. and there's Kelly stood over. <laughs> Shut up! It's not funny! All right. Where's Victoria? I put her to bed. Oh, thanks a lot. I wanted to spend some time with her. Yeah, well, it's seven o'clock. It's past her bedtime. I'm not having you breaking up our routine. All right. I want Robert in bed by nine. I'm going now. <coughs> Robert? I thought we might play some games together. I don't want to. Not with you. this out by the dustbin. But we don't need them anymore. We'll see. And what's that supposed to mean? Things change. You never know what might happen. I don't ever want to see Jerry again. But Mum and I do. She's our grandchild. We all make wrong decisions sometimes. You're not changing my mind. Mum and I think you should see Jerry more often. There's no point. She's not my baby anymore. You don't have to worry. Mum and I will look after her. It won't change your life. There's no way you're adopting Jerry. You can't. Not without my permission. Well, there are ways. I'm telling my social worker, I don't ever want Jerry in this house again. They have to listen to me. I'm the mother. Exactly. Get a little easier on, Sam. She's a sensitive lad. What's he doing here, Eric? We don't need extra stuff. It's only for a while. <clears throat> I know you have a soft spot for Sam, but we can't afford him. We're not paying him. What? I paid his fine. He's working it off. Eric, that was lots of money. He'll be working here forever. We don't need him. What else was I supposed to do? Put his wages up. What? Then we'll get rid of him even quicker. Sam, <laughs> I've got some good news for you. We're giving you a raise. Oh, cheers, Mr. P. Hey, look, it's over there. Sophie, Zoe, come and join us. Oh, lovely. I don't want to spend the whole evening with Jan Glover. Have a drink with her. We'll make our excuse to go to hunt the food. All right. Hiya. Hi. What's the occasion? Hi. Uh, we're commiserating. Oh, about what? Over our bad luck with men. Oh, speak for yourself. <laughs> I thought things were going really well with you and Doug. They were until today. He broke into her house and started to redecorate it with a surprise. Sarah, it's a flaming <laughs> cheese. Well, I wish somebody come to my house and slap up some paper. No, that's not the point. Oh, you ask me, you got it made. House redecorated, <laughs> free holidays. Oh. Yeah, well, Doug didn't make it in the end. His wife phoned about an emergency at home, so that was that. Are you seeing a married man? What if Mandy finds out? She'll kick me into touch, then she'll just kick me in. <laughs> Paddy, you didn't do anything. Just tell her the truth. Have you got rocks in your head? Yeah, yeah. maybe you're right. Oh, come on, Viv's not going to say oh, is she? And Kelly? She's just winding you up. 
Yeah, well, it's working. Evening, Terry. Double vodka and tonic, please. That'll be a tomato juice, then. <laughs> Always worth a try. Come on, get your money out. Uh, actually, we're hoping you could lend you a couple of quid. Well, I can't. But I know a man who can. Look, it's the government's version of electronic tagging. They get you to pay tax and national insurance, and that's it. Got tabs on you for the rest of your life. Suck you dry. Yeah, but I'm already on their computers with Dole and that, aren't I? Yeah, but with that, you're taking, not giving. I really fancy working with Roy. Yeah, and what about me? The pigs and the scrap. Yeah, but you only give us pocket money. Oh, let me squeeze your pips now, Ned. Right? As long as you're still being a lazy pig, then he don't cop here, off Lisa. I can handle her. <laughs> like Richard Whiteley can handle ferrets. No, you see, he don't want you to work. They don't put pressure on him to get a job. And what do you know? That you come back from Australia completely skint, and Lisa knows that too. There you go, Dad. One clutch. Where are you getting mortar spares from? Lend us some money, Paddy. Uh, no more wind-ups, Kelly. Don't know what you mean. Look, just leave Paddy alone. If you and Roy want a drink, I'll get him. Oh, I wish the earth had swallowed me up. Can't fault your timing. Just because Sarah's got marital problems. Well, what would you know about it? You're never going to have to worry about someone running off and leaving you with the kids. <laughs> What's to say Zoe and I mightn't have children? Do we all sort of being parents? What <laughs> rubbish. Why shouldn't we be? Well, it's not natural. And then you're just going to have to get used to it. Sophie and I are planning to have a baby. You're adopting? There are other ways of doing it. Have you ever heard of artificial insemination? Oh, that's disgusting. Sarah's coming back. I'm going home. Stay. I didn't mean to spoil things. I'm here in my big mouth. Does his wife know? I don't know. And you don't care? Do you realise how hurtful it is to find out your husband's having an affair? Yeah, I do. Rachel didn't want to hurt you. She wanted to break things off right from the start. So you've known all along? Yes. Rachel told you that Jack was having an affair and you didn't tell me. I promised Rachel I wouldn't tell you. Did you know as well, Jan? So everybody knew my husband was having an affair except for me. Well, at least I know who my friends are. <laughs> 